is the night of the living reviews. For our first review today, let's look at this one. Very sluggish combat and traversal. Hilariously hostile inventory system. But overall entertaining and cinematic, except for voice acting. Experience with quality of atmosphere and progression. Save states abuse is required to not get cancer. Well, what do we think? What game could this be? What could it possibly be? Oh, it's the classic Resident Evil 1 for the PlayStation 1. Well, what do we think? Do we agree with Solitude SF? Is this Resident Evil a three-star game with hilariously hostile inventory system and cinematic? Hmm. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Well, what have we here? A very competent and well-made Souls-like. I'd probably even say it's the best non-From Software one made. Only real downside is the game can feel very overwhelmingly difficult at times. Hmm. A well-made Souls-like that's not made by From Software. What could it possibly be? These are the only things I have to say about this game. It's just like From Software games, just Souls-like. And of course, we're talking Lies of P. Thank you, Grimith66, for this four and a half star review on the PlayStation 5 version of Lies of P. And I congratulate you on completing this game. All right, up next is a classic, I hope to say. Hmm, let's see. This language is not my first, I think. Yuffie uh, Chane Autismo Grado Siete. I hope I'm right there. What could this game possibly be? Something about Yuffie. I don't know. I feel like I've heard this name before. It could be from some game I've known, I've seen, I've played. Might be popular. Ah, there we go. It's a Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. Yes, of course, in the amazing game. And it gets a three and a half stars out of five by the amazing Koyuya. And Koyuya has played this game on the PlayStation 5 and thankfully has completed this game to come to the conclusion that Yuffie has autism on the level of seven. So we don't have to play this game to find out. They already told us. FPS Shooter. Classic. Counter-Strike 2. Completed on Windows PC by Tikitai for three stars out of five. Wasn't that something? Nothing is more fun than playing this game with friends and each of three people controlling a specific character where you get to play the cop and menacingly circle the android accused of murder in the interrogation room. I have no clue. What android has ever murdered anyone? Why would a cop be interested in an android? What do a cop 
and an android have to do with each other? Oh, it's the android game, I see. Thank you, Gallifrey Fallen, who completed Detroit Become Human and gave it three and a half stars out of five. I have to say, I do love this game, Detroit. What did the android say to the Gex player? Just might be my favorite game in the series and one of the best co-ops games ever made. It's still great as a single player experience, but is best played with one other player. The PS3 slash 360 versions still have their online capabilities, while Vita slash PSP only utilizes ad hoc for multiplayer. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals VQZGL6XJEH0. Well, thank you, LWFYM, for this amazing review of Men of Your Solid Peace Walker for the PlayStation Vita. Five stars out of five. Personally, the Peace Walker game was not my favorite in the entire series, but I have to say, who in their right mind has ever played this game multiplayer? Leaving apart the terribly outdated gameplay, this game is incredible. As a fan of games where you do not play it, I have to agree. Thank you, Nutella Cat 12, for this review of Fallout New Vegas, completed on the Windows PC. Three and a half stars out of five. I used to play Fallout New Vegas nearly every day. Then I realized I might as well live in the post-apocalypse myself. Think of that what you will. I used to play this when I was 10 and it just came out. I came back to it recently because it was really bored and I was kind of thrown aback because all the new things, that's not exactly a compliment. I kind of just wanted to cook a bunch like a normal mama game, but I was thrown into weird Farmville-esque side modes and a fishing mini game. And everything I did, a thingy would pop up where it asks me to watch an ad to get coins or something. Honestly, the cooking portion itself is fun. You have like four starter dishes and they're pretty fun to cook. The rest of them you either unlock with the mission system by logging in every day or, and this consists of the majority of it, buying them, which is obviously pretty egregious. There's like 10 different food taka, but it is a free mobile game. So I can't be too hard on it. I see that some people really, really love this game. So it's probably just a thing of preference with all the game modes. But if you want a mobile mama game, just install a DS emulator, honestly. I don't need a mobile mama. So I won't be installing a DS emulator, thank you. This review by Vera Former for Cooking Mama Let's Cook on the iOS, I believe, for three stars. 
sadly, they have not completed the game. They have only played it. Today we've learned that the only good games come from Japan. For Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker was the only 5 star review. It was the best game simply because it had multiplayer. It's the best multiplayer. It's co-op. It's multiplayer. You can play it by yourself, but it's better to play multiplayer. And sadly, the classic CS2 is not up to par. No five stars, only counter-striking. Terrorists win.